let's take a look at how you can go from this to this in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's start off by getting a shot of a retro TV. I like to use Pexels because it's free and you can get fairly decent quality. So search for retro TV and I'll just download this first one here. Drag that into your project and then drag it onto your timeline. We'll scale this up so it fits and then move it upwards and there's our base. Once you have that, you want to bring the footage that you want to overlay on top of the screen on top of it and then just cut it down so that you only have a small section. Now I'll scale this down to 72. What we're gonna do next is come over to effects panel, go to noise, add the noise, change the noise to 15% and that'll show up more later. So as you can see, this clip is not really in the same perspective as this TV is. The TV is sort of at a slant, but this is a simple fix. Let's go to basic 3D in the effects panel, search for basic 3D, add that. And then let's just drag this until it matches the perspective of the TV. Okay, I think that works. Now we want to make sure that this footage is only within the bounds of the TV, so you can only see it on the screen. So what I'm gonna do is take this bottom TV layer and bring it to the top. I'm going to drop the opacity to 50, and then I am going to zoom in to the layer and use the hand tool to drag around. And you'll wanna to come to opacity on this layer and click the free draw bezier. And now we just want to draw a mask around the screen. And this should be a pretty good mask. I'm just doing it very roughly right now, but I will clean it up later. Then you wanna click inverted and we'll raise the opacity back up. Now, as you can see, it's in the screen bounds. So let me fix this really quick and make the mask better. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, I spent a little bit more time actually masking the screen. This still didn't take that long, so you can do this pretty easily. And if you want, you can use plugins like Mocha Pro to actually track these, but I'm just keeping it simple. So now let's add some more effects. Come over to your effects panel, search arithmetic or arithmetic, whatever you want to call it. Add that. Let's do red on 15, green on 15 and blue on 100. Now this looks weird right now, but just trust me, it'll look good in the end. Now we want to add some chromatic aberrations. So search for that in your effects panel drag it on and this looks a little too harsh so we're just going to come over here drop the aberration red to negative four we'll do blue at four and that just makes it so that the screen looks a little bit more like what your eye would actually see when you're looking at a screen like this you can see the little blurry edges here now this looks a little bit flat so we want to make sure that this actually looks like a rounded screen like the one here so we're going to come over add the lens distortion and all we're gonna do on this is add a curvature of 25, just so that it matches the screen a little bit more. And finally, we will add a VR glow to this layer. You can just copy these exact settings that I have on this. The threshold is just how much you want it to glow. So I have this on 0.4, but if you want it a little bit less noticeable, you can go up to 0.7, maybe go 0.5 on this one and it adds a little bit of glow in certain areas. Now, I'm gonna apply some effects to the overall composition here. So let's zoom out and add an adjustment layer. New item, adjustment layer. First, I'm gonna add a VR glow and we'll change these around. That's a little bit much, we'll go 0.4. Glow radius, 340. Saturation, we'll go to five. And then brightness, I'm gonna drop down a little bit to 0.8, just so you can see these edges a little bit clearer. Now I'm gonna add chromatic aberrations again. We'll make the red negative 0.5. I'll make blue one. And as you can see, it gives this really cool fantasy, surreal kind of glow to it. I'll actually drop red down to negative four. And now I want it to look like there's a little bit of a glare coming off the screen. So I'm gonna make a color mat, come down to a new item, color mat, okay. And then I will select a light blue, almost a white, drag that over select it and then come up to the effect controls panel and under opacity create an ellipse mask i'm going to make this kind of small drag it to the corner here and i'm going to up the feather i'm going to change the blend mode to linear dodge and then drop the opacity to 50. and as you can see it just adds a nice little glare effect and now finally what we want to make sure to do is make sure the video is just blending into the tv screen a little more so it looks like a screen so all we're going to do for that is select our video layer, come over to opacity, drop that to 50, and then go to hard light. And let's actually raise the opacity back up to 75. And now, as you can see, 
we have the effect. I hope this helped you out with whatever project you're creating. And if it did, make sure to leave a comment down below. I would love to see what you did with it. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.